Okay, the meeting is called to order. It is September 15th, 2022, and it is 2.02. So, Claudia, could you please call the roll? Uh, gladly, President Palmer. All right, President Palmer. Here. Director Millibar. He is present, but his uh, audio is currently not working. Director Martin. I'm here. Director Atwater. Director Stamara. Here. Excellent. Uh, Director Chang. Here. Director Anaptawi. Okay, and um, in Director Anaptawi's absence, we have Alternate Director uh, Lamoreau. Here. And give me one moment. Let me scan for alternate directors. So I would like to acknowledge that on the line we have alternate director Dan Fleury. Um, we also have alternate director Royce Fast. And alternate director John Weed. Thank you. Am I missing anybody? Alternate director Barbara Keegan. Oh, and alternate director Barbara Keegan. Thank you. Okay. I think that's uh, that's quorum, President Palmer. All right. Then we're going in. Item number three is we're going into closed session. So are you going to do this by us joining another room or how are we going to do this, Claudia? Yes, give me one moment. Okay. After closed session, we'll come on back, do the pledge and take public comment. While no, Claudia is doing that, I would like to remind um, all of the directors that are going into closed session, you will have a moment where um, your feed will pause and then you will show up in uh, the new room. Okay. Do we have to click on anything? We don't have any uh, comment on the closed session item. Thank you. Okay, you should get a pop up. Okay, then you just join. Jennifer, if you're, if you're listening, could you reach out to Director Millibar and yes. see what's going on? I will. Thank you. Tony, are you wrapped up? I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm back to the... Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Back to the open session. Yeah. All right, welcome back. There, Marty, can you, can you hear and be heard? We had him okay on the, um, in the breakout room for a second at any rate. Marty, can you hear me? He's having problems again. 
He hasn't come back yet over here. Well, he's he's on my screen, oh. but I don't think all of his um, all of his audio is taken care of again yet. And I think I'm okay if you can hear me. Yeah, there he is. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes. Yay. Okay. Good deal. All right. Then let's uh, let's progress. We should now do Pledge of Allegiance. So if everybody could stand for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag Dennis, of the United we? States of America and to the republic for which it stands, which it stands. one nation, okay. under God, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice, justice for all. I think we're missing Dennis, aren't we? Oh, there he is. Alternate director, there he is. Dennis, you're here. Okay, we just did the pledge. Okay, then we have... Um, Let's see, in terms of Pledge of Allegiance and report out of closed session. So what we're going to do is vote on the amendment um, on the consent calendar. Is, do I have to say anything else about that, Josh? No, President Palmer, just a thing to clarify, there's no reportable action out of closed session, but as you okay. noted, there will be action under 6B. Thank okay, you. Okay, great, okay. So now let's, uh, let's go for public comment. So members of the public may address the authority on matters that are within the authority's jurisdiction, whether they are on or off the agenda. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, speakers are limited to three minutes each. However, the chair may limit this time when reasonable based on the circumstances. Um, persons wishing to speak may do so remotely through the electronic meeting link or teleconference number when recognized by the chair. I like that. It's reasonable to me. So be reasonable, everybody. Okay. Go for it. What do we have on public comment? President Palmer, at this time, we have not received any public comment requests. Okay, great. Then let's move on to the consent calendar. And so we have two items on the consent calendar. Item 6A, which is approved extending a resolution authorizing virtual board and committee meetings and B, adoption of resolution approving the Fourth Amendment to the Management Partners Agreement for the Executive Director Services. Do I have a motion? Motion, Madam Chair. Do I have a second? Second. Millibar. Okay. okay, so Director Estramera and Director Millibar, first and second. Okay, so let's bring it to a roll call vote, please, Claudia. And uh, President Palmer, I just want to confirm um, you are voting on both, on both yes. items? Oh, okay. It's on the consent it's, calendar. The consent calendar. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, President Palmer. Aye. Director Millibar. Aye. Director Martin. Aye. Director Atwater. Director Stramera. Aye. Director Chang. Aye. Alternate Director LaMoreau? Aye. Excellent. Okay, then those pass and we're done with that. Let's move on to item number seven, the discussion items, the September DCA monthly report, and this is an information only. So take it away. Yes, President Palmer, I will. Um, thanks, Claudia. If you could please advance it to uh, summary of work, item one. <clears throat> so just to, to summarize a couple of key activities, starting with the program management, administrative functions of the DCA, uh, we continue to, to process uh, the, some of the lingering and final invoices for last fiscal year, FY21-22. Uh, we did have uh, a few task orders that were extended into the current fiscal year so they could complete their scope of work. Uh, so that's why some of these invoices, we still have a few that will trickle in over the next couple of months here. At the same time, we're developing, processing all the task orders, amendments, purchase, purchase orders for FY22-23, as well as all invoices associated with the current fiscal year. Um, on the administrative side, it's uh, much, much of the same type of work. The administrative team really continues to focus on all IT support associated with both in, in person as well as virtual meetings. We have had a pretty good presence in the DCA office and um, so that's been really nice to see. And so there's been a lot of IT support associated with, with folks coming back and working in that space. Um, we've also been continuing to support the hosting of the engineering project reports, which are on the DCA website 
provided as reference materials to the EIR, so we continue to support distribution of those files um, and uh, ensuring that, that folks have access to them and can download them. Um, on the engineering and field work side of things, uh, supporting DWR's permitting efforts continues to be the priority for the engineering team. Uh, however, there's also quite a bit of work going on right now in terms of reviewing existing delta-wide or uh, delta-wide subsurface conditions based on existing information, as well as a lot of support provided to the engineering program. So the fieldwork front, they actually have um, three different programs that are in various stages of completion right now. The spring program, which you recall, ended just before the end of the fiscal year, towards the end of June. They're still wrapping up the, the final laboratory testing and boring log preparations that will be included in a geotechnical data report for that program. Uh, that geotechnical data report should be, in, uh, should be drafted at least in the coming weeks. We've also got the summer 22 program, which was completed back in August. And so it's just a few months behind the spring program, still working through the laboratory testing and finalization of the logs and so on. And then that, those will also be summarized later on in a data report as well. And then uh, simultaneously, in addition to those two, we've got planning activities right now, field clearances for our fall 22 program that are underway. And we're preparing to mobilize equipment to complete those fall 22 investigations. So mm -hmm. a lot of work right now ongoing to, to help DWR in their evaluation of alternatives. And so we're continuing to chug away at those data collection efforts. Any questions on the work performed? Okay, Claudia, let's go ahead and jump to the budget summary, please. Item three. So here we are. Um, we're in now September, I think, is our month. Yes, September. And so we had a budget of 31.16 million that was approved back in June for the current fiscal year. We've committed uh, just over 26 million, so we've gotten a lot of that, uh, a lot of that work distributed through task orders and uh, through a sign scope of work of task orders. So a lot of that work is underway. Uh, the bulk of what hasn't been committed yet is is still with the field investigation work, uh, but I expect that we will fully expend that budget. Uh, we still have another program that we're planning for in the spring, uh, as well as all of the uh, all of the commitments for the fall program are still getting worked out now. So do expect to fully expend that budget. Um, the remainder of the uncommitted funds would be sitting in the executive office that's for management reserve and then some with stakeholder engagement and outreach that we have yet to commit. Um, so let's see, Claudia, let's go to, uh, I think very end, let's look at the cash flow associated with this budget. So we'll just skip through. So here we are in uh, looking at our cash flow. Oops, sorry, go back one. Uh, so you can see we have projected out through forecasting what we anticipate to be the cash flow for the year. Uh, at this point, uh, we really haven't incurred all of our invoices for August yet, so we don't have a real look at what the actuals will be, but you can see July there for the most part is billed. And so our actuals are trending a little bit under projected um, but we'll be keeping tabs on this through the year and, and be updating the board on our progress in terms of, of budget and cash flow. In terms of schedule, Claudia, could you skip to schedule section five? Thank you. Uh, so we have down at the bottom just the, the program sequence to provide some context regarding the schedule. Uh, the, the draft EIR prepared by DWR is currently out for review. Uh, so in the meantime, we have a number of activities ongoing associated with program management office. This is the program support activities. Uh, we've got within engineering permitting support, some supplemental informational studies. Uh, we have yet to, to begin some of our pilot work around the development of project definition reports. But those will begin later in the year. And then down in the field program, we've got uh, the different tasks and subtasks associated with the various programs, the, the spring, summer, and fall. And so you can see how kind of all those all sequence and, and overlay, but there's uh, quite a bit of activ activity right now going on with the field program. Mm -hmm. So uh, President Palmer, that is, those are the highlights that I wanted to touch on, but I'll pause here for questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions or comments on this? No? Okay, well, you went over it pretty well when we were reviewing this, so 
yeah, we're progressing along. Here we go. All right. Then let me get back to my agenda items. There it is. Okay, so that sounds good. Then item number eight, do we have any future agenda items to consider? Does anybody have anything they'd like to bring up? Nope. All right, then ladies and gents, we are adjourned. <laughs>